For those of you who are taking writing too, I wanted to provide an, another example of how to best align the purpose of your essay, how to create a direct question, how to create an indirect question that's going to exist within a problem statement, how to develop a thesis statement related to the problem statement or specifically the indirect question of the problem statement, and how to create the first topic sentence that comes directly from the thesis statement. So in this example, I'm going to, and I think I forgot to mention the target audience, and that's also another uh, consideration here. So taking this example, I have a target audience, teachers who are reluctant to use cell phones in the English language learning class. Now, the purpose is to convince these teachers there are times when cell phones should be used in the English language learning classroom. So my direct question is, why should English language instructors use cell phones in class? Now, the problem statement, I'm going to include now a topic, an indirect question, and the significance. So I'm going to begin with the prompt I wish to learn more about. And my topic is going to be educational technology. So notice my, edu my topic, educational technologies, is more general than the indirect question, which reads, because I want to know why English language instructors should use cell phones in class. Okay, so this is going to be my indirect question. And the significance in order to, to convince my, the instructors, there are times when cell phones should be used. So notice that the significance is coming directly from the target audience and the purpose. The indirect question relates to the direct question in that the direct question again reads, why should English language instructors use cell phones? And the indirect question, I want to know why English language instructors use cell phones. I want to know why they should use or why they use cell phones. I could choose here to use the modal should or without should. Um, I want to know why English language instructors use cell phones in class, or I want to know why English language instructors should use cell phones in class. Now, the thesis statement, we are going to include a transition, a topic, a claim, a connector, in this case, we're going to use because, because we're answering the question why, and we're going to list three key reasons. This is going to be appropriate for a five paragraph essay where we have basically three key points that later will be developed in each of the key body paragraphs. So here I begin with the transition to motivate students to speak more in, in and outside of class, comma. Now I have my topic, English language teachers. My claim, should use cell phones in class. I have my connector because... And then my first key point, it allows English language learners to practice vocabulary with each other. Second key point, to correct each other's speech. And the third key point allows them to practice informal writing in different social contexts. So here I have now the first example. And I want to try to include key terms that are coming from the thesis statement. So I've identified here practice, vocabulary, cell phones, and motivation as being primarily the key terms that I want to try to include when developing my first body paragraph, the one that is going to focus primarily on practicing vocabulary with each other. This is the first key point listed here. So here's my example. English language learners who use cell phones in class provide opportunities to practice vocabulary when preparing for a speaking task. Now, depending on my uh, thesis statement, I have another example here. Cell phones may be used in class to help English language learners to practice vocabulary when preparing for... Now, I have here a writing task, but I, I could also easily include this as a speaking task also. The key point, though, in looking at these two examples is the... Uh, is the way that I'm using different subjects to begin my topic sentence. I'm beginning with the main clause, and here we have cell phones may be used. 
in class. And we have English language learners who use phones in class provide opportunity. So I have also, this is another claim. I have a topic, I have a subject of the sentence, and then I have a claim or a verb phrase for each of the subjects. And again, here I can choose which subjects that I want to use. And in this case, I used English language learners. In the second case, I use cell phones. All right, so notice here the attempt here to align the target audience, the purpose, the direct question, the indirect question from the problem statement, which is this. The thesis statement, which basically answers the indirect question in the topic and the claim, which is here. And then the first topic sentence, where I'm basically trying to create one sentence, one complete sentence, with key terms that are relevant. In my case, I chose... The key term is being the first term listed at the end of my thesis statement, along with cell phones that 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 occurs here in the uh, in the claim. And I also chose motivation. I could also have chosen English language teachers. There, I could have chosen that as well as a key term. But I'm trying to look for other key terms that come before the connector because to include again to restate in this first topic sentence. The second topic sentence will might also include cell phones, might include motivation or English language teachers, but it would also focus on, instead of uh, vocabulary, it's going to focus on correcting each other's speech. Similarly, the third topic sentence is going to focus on something about practicing informal writing, using cell phones, Maybe something about motivation, something about motivation in and outside of class. And I didn't mention that earlier, but motivation in and outside of class. So I could have chosen to say something about one or both of those in the first topic sentence or in the first body paragraph. And I could have chosen to talk about either one of those or both in the second body paragraph as well as the third body paragraph. So again, what I'm doing is I'm referring back to the thesis statement and trying to incorporate the key terms in each of my body paragraphs, but primarily focusing on the key terms that I've listed at the end, making sure that I am only talking about one of these key points in each of the topic sentences and later in greater detail in the supporting sentences in each respective body paragraph. All right, so I hope this example helps, and this is something we'll be working on over the next few weeks as we are developing our first uh, essay.